99.9 Virgin Radio. And the question I have for Pride Weekend, because it's going to be a beautiful Pride, three days of sunshine, is tell us about coming out. The way that you finally said, you know what? I'm not going to hide it anymore. Be proud of who I am and what I am. And the reason we're asking this question is not everybody, Jax, has that that confidence and that strength yet. Yep. It takes a while to find it. And you struggle for years. Yep. So hoping that we could hear your story. Well, and first off, that's the um, kind of mistake that a lot of people make. is like, oh, when you're in your late teens or your early 20s, you come out. But I, I, you know, have a lot of friends who came out in their like 30s, 40s, 50s. Yes. 60s. Oh, wow. People Absolutely. Still are in their people 70s, got yeah. married, had kids. Yeah. I have a, one yeah. of my good, good friends had two kids. Yeah. And he's a great father. It's it's uh it's, it's kind of all at your time. I came out uh, I came out when I was seventeen, uh, and it was it was yeah, di- a different time. I mean, it was you know two thousand six, two thousand five, mm-hmm. and uh, it was really f- freaking hard. Like, how, it was, how did you? So because you because you dated guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then yeah. what what was the moment for you where you're like, uh, you know what, this is there's something weird here. You had a pretty tumultuous childhood too. Like you were saying, you had a lot yeah. of anger. Like you always felt like something was a little off. Yeah. Pretty uh, garbage teenager, and like looking back on that, uh, there was definitely a lot of internalized homophobia and, and anger at myself. Really? And, oh, for sure. Like, I, thanks to my therapist. No, uh, it's <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of angst in there, and I, I dated guys, and that's a common misconception as well. Is that like you know, I never had any boyfriends, and I had a great boyfriend in high school. Uh, as we know, it didn't work out. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, uh, yeah, it, it just it all kind kind of came together. And what was that moment? What do, who was the first person you admitted yeah. it to other than yourself? Uh my mom. And how and did she take it? She took it really well actually. Yeah. She um How do you how do you even start that conversation? Yeah. Like how do you say mom we need to talk? Like where are you? What are you doing? I was we were at the kitchen table and I was just so in love with this girl that went to my high school who had wanted nothing to do with me. And all these feelings like I didn't understand them and I I, I just I just wanted to be around her all the time and I was like what like I don't want to be her best friend. I, I barely know her but uh, it kind of all made sense. And I told my mom, I said, "Mom, I think I have feelings for a girl that I'm going to school with." And I put a lot of emphasis on girl. And she kept sipping her coffee mm-hmm. and said, as long as you're happy and healthy. And Aww, yeah. that's the way. My dad was different, and I'm going to be honest about that. And, and my brother was different at, at the beginning. They uh, eventually became very open and sweet and, and kind about it. But they had a hard time. My, my, my dad grew up in rural Prince Edward Island. Yeah. And he thought this Wasn't was necessarily phase, open to that. And he said, I want my daughter to have children, and I don't want her to have a hard future. So knowing that that conversation with your dad and your brother was mm-hmm. probably going to be a bit more difficult, how did you how did you broach that one? Oh, I let my mother tell my father. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's one for her. Uh, but he, you know, and and that's a struggle for parents because people see gay folks who have parents that don't take it well as that they're bad, that these parents are bad. But it's really hard for parents as well for their kids to come out, you know, because they they want a good future. And I think I've you know grown up pretty okay. But my dad wanted me to have it easy because to him being his Gay is hard. Yeah. You know, being trans is hard. Being, it, it was. Yeah. It was, and it still and it is. It still is. Very hard. Absolutely. Um, so, the question, the reason we're asking this is there is somebody listening right now that doesn't have mm-hmm. that in them yet, doesn't yeah. have the strength in yeah. them yet, is fear, full of fear and full of sadness. Yeah. It's a huge struggle, as you mentioned, Jax. Yeah. And we were hoping that if you're listening to this and you've come out, mm-hmm. we want to hear your story because we want you to show people that it's okay. That it, that it can be done, that they can make it through this, and that they come out the end better for it, right? And like, are life. you happier? Like, you you are one of the happiest, easiest going people yeah. I've ever met in my entire life. And this is in a wonderful city to live in mm-hmm. for um, for many, many, many different cultures and ways yeah. of life. Um, but when that was a seminal moment in your life that made you sort of what you are, mm-hmm. right? It was a literal weight, like, off of my shoulders. Like, it, I, I changed. I did. I was. I was like. It was just completely different. It was a whole. And like, life is so much more beautiful than a lot of like these struggling gay and trans kids can ever imagine. It's. It's. There is a different side. So and there is. There is. There is a better. A better way for sure. Yeah. So we would love to hear your story if you got oh, one. Four one six eight seven two ninety nine ninety nine triple nine double nine on the text. God, you're gonna make me cry. Make me cry. <laughs> Stop it. Why are you doing this, to us, Jax? <laughs> <laughs> No, but for real, happy Pride. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful weekend, man. It's Taylor Swift, Virgin Radio. You are so-